Welcome to this presentation in which we are going to see some industrial biocatalytic cases and we are going to see how biocatalysis can be implemented at industrial scale. Uh, the, the key word that we have in biocatalysis to be used in industrial level is versatility. This is a key word because this is going to, to allow us to, to use enzymes, wall cells, biocatalysis in different reactor types and in different kinds of media as we are going to see here. First of all, we can use uh, batch reactors in which there, there's not continuous processes in which we might have the enzymes or the cells immobilized or not. And we can have some sorts of uh, continuous processes, either in fluorescent bed reactor or in packed bed. Depending on the application that we want to make, uh, uh, the, the industry will choose one of these kind of reactors. On the other hand, what we have is different uh, conditions from which uh, biocatalysis can be applied. Uh, as contrary to what many people think, uh, enzymes can be used not only in water, but also in non, non aqueous media, but this is so-called non-conventional media. So we can have uh, applications of the enzymes in non-conventional media. We can have uh, uses of the enzymes in establishing some kind of biphasic systems in which we are going to have a combination of the water and organic solvent or the organic phase. And we are going to have a aqueous media reaction in which the processes are going to be made in water. Once again, depending on the most important application, uh, people in industry will choose one of these reactors or these systems too. Some cases uh, related to the non-conventional media and applied to industrial processes can be found here. This is uh, the the esterification of a, of a fatty acid with with a fatty alcohol to make a surfactant to be still middle state. This is being done at the industrial level using a immobilized candida antarctica lipase bead in fluid bed reactor. So in this case, we we, we are operate, people are operating in solvent free. So it's a it is a water free application, and the media is just the the two reagents that are being used in this in this reactor. The use of a solvent-free system is uh, is an important case because in this in this example, the the productivity that we are going to have is the highest because we are not using a solvent in which we are diluting the the reagents that we are using. Here we are using people in industrial level are, are using uh, immobilized catalysts, which means that they can be reuse it the number of times and more importantly due to the mild conditions that this reaction is being done the product that, that is being obtained is a white product and no side reactions or no or no kind of uh, others that can be made in this reaction can be expected from this batch so in this case biocatalysis is gaining not only solvent free processes with a high productivity but also a better quality of the product that is being made Another case also in, 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 in non-conventional media, in this case it's a batch reactor, is the esterification of a vitamin C to be used in, in food industry. Again, uh, immobilized Candida Antarctica lipase B, and this case is a transesterification using a long fatty ester, which is going to be uh, transesterified with the, with the alcohol of a vitamin C. Again, in this case, as I said before, uh, they are using non aqueous media, and, uh, and the process is in the part of the synthetic part of this reaction. The use of biocatalysis has found quite a lot of use in, in asymmetric synthesis. So given the high um, stereoselectivity that enzymes can have, uh, people have found many ways to make uh, the chiral molecules based on biocatalysis. In this case, also non-conventional media, water-free application using a packed bed reactor, industrial process to make chiral amines, starting from racemic uh, amines and uh, acyl donor, in this case is an ester, again with immobilized Candida Antarctica lipase B. So in this, in this example, Candida Antarctica lipase B, CALB, is going to, to make the antiamidation of one of the enantiomers, which can be then uh, uh, recovered as the, as the amine by uh, another enzyme, uh, uh, acylase, 
while we have the other enantiomer, which is going to be separated in distillation. So the process is going to render the two, two asymmetric amines in the same, in the same example. Apart from the use in non-conventional media, uh, biocatalysis can also be used in aqueous media, as we said before. Here we have uh, an example in which we are using a batch reactor with an uh, immobilized Calvi, but in this case, since we are doing the process in the aqueous media, we are not having esterification, transesterification, or uh, amidation. <clears throat> what we are having is a hydrolysis of this ester, and the, the enzyme is going to make the hydrolysis of only one of the enantiomers of this molecule, which is an intermediate that can be used in pharma as a further uh, synthesis of an antiviral. In this case, it processes in water, as we can see here. <clears throat> also in water, can, can, uh, we can make the uh, epimerization of fructose to make uh, other kinds of sugars, which are used as uh, sweeteners in food industry. This process, the, the system is being done in, in uh, aqueous media, and by means of a packed bed reactor. So the mobilized enzyme is here, and there is a fluid in which all the fructose in water is coming in, and then the, the desired compound is extracted from the packed bed reactor. Um, one very classic and important uh, example at an industrial level is, the, is the, the production of fructose from glucose through the immobilized uh, glucose uh, isomerase. In this case, also a packed bed reactor is used. The system is in aqueous media. And an important point that we can emphasize here is that we, the process is being done with a very high uh, glucose concentration, 300 grams liter, making this fructose syrup, syrup, which is being used at industrial level and also in food industry for many, many applications. So we have seen a number of things, uh, a number of uh, examples um, as uh, biocatalysis being applied at industrial level. Some conclusions of this short lecture could be that, first of all, biocatalytic applications can be performed not only in, in uh, aqueous media, as one might in principle think, but also in non-conventional media, meaning uh, non-aqueous media solvent-free in a solvent, which uh, can uh, open many other options to use biocatalysis. Uh, depending on the application that we want to use in biocatalysis, uh, uh, the media and the reactor is going to be chosen. So in some cases, people will, will, will prefer to use a packed bed reactor and non-conventional media or aqueous media with a batch reactor. It depends on the, on the application that is going to be, to be done. Uh, a key factor, as you have seen also in some other lectures of this uh, of this course, is the high uh, selectivity that uh, enzymes could have in terms of an anti-selectivity, radioselectivity, chemoselectivity. This uh, broadens the application of enzymes at industrial level because it brings many many applications that can be can be implemented here or there. As we have seen. In this presentation, uh, the, the industrial applications that we have nowadays can be done in, in pharmaceuticals, in fine, chem in fine chemicals, in bulk chemicals, or even in food industry, with some relevant cases that we have seen in this presentation. And furthermore, we, we have not uh, discussed this in, this in this video, but you have seen this in this course, is that uh, the application of industrial biocatalysis is not only related to the use of wild type enzymes that can be found in nature, but also uh, there is the, the option to make uh, uh, Tyler enzymes genetically de designed to make, to, to, uh, to make them specific for the processes or for the applications that is being done. This is conferring biocatalysis, a very broad scope of uh, the applications uh, and options, and it can be expected that many more industrial applications will be seen and will be implemented in, in the future.